Okay, part two of my Chewbacca for today. Um, I was talking about my Gose order. Um, I don't know if you've actually been watching Gosager, um, but they've done the freaking Shurikenjir thing again, in which they actually have, or it's the same thing they do with um, Wolzor. Basically, they have a uh, a ranger who. Um, doesn't transform. Although this guy kind of does, he doesn't take a human form or something. He's um, he. It is revealed in last night's or the latest episode that has been subbed by DB Nihon that uh, he is actually a living header. Uh, who um, I think I think I kind of missed this part or missed the the subtitles for this part, but sounds like he fought in against War Star uh, thousands of years ago. Was injured. Then the Earth decided to give him a lot of power, a lot of power to protect it, which changed him into his humanoid form. And he actually does have the ability to um, transform back into his header. The thing is, though, his changer is a cell phone again. Um, you can put cards in it, but putting cards in it does nothing. You actually have to enter in codes with it, and then close it. And the actually the voice of it is a lot different than the uh, ten soder. It's um. Sometimes they do that with uh, the new guy's engine device, they'll make the voices different. Either by changing the pits or just having a different guy do the voices, so... Um... I guess next week we can actually get to see his uh, mecha for the first time. It looks like it's a lion, his uh, main one is a lion-based dump truck. Um... As a weapon, is sure is quite cool. It's a blaster that turns it into a sword again. I kind of... The only one I really have of that is the uh, RPM Nitro Blaster. And, um... It's not very good. Um... So look forward to uh, those reviews within a month or so. Um... Because the way I work is, um... I use PayPal eChecks, which takes 10 days to uh, clear, about. Um, and CS Toys won't ship your stuff until they clear. Uh, once they're clear, they'll um, wait for the next pack and ship show. And um, if you have a few items, or if you ordered like one, like a day or so, what they'll do is, um, and uh, they haven't shipped anything else yet, they'll put everything in the same box, which is what they did with my uh, next order, which is should be coming next week. Um, I'll probably try to do a proper unboxing. Um, I actually have thought about maybe just altering the, um, the codec on this thing just to a simple WMV with um, MP3 sound, because the sound thing doesn't have a problem with. Um, I haven't got actually got to uh, working on the um, the thing, like working on trying to either merge it or do something, just trying to get it working. Um, I really am sorry about that. I know a lot of guys like to do unboxings, and I'm sorry there was a big problem with it. Um, uh, media coder is kind of finicky with some things. Uh, I know if my video is short, it will um, not transcode, it just won't. Uh, it'll take forever and then what you get is basically just a useless less than a megabyte file and um, it would be nice if I could just make the vids and upload them right to YouTube but the only methods they have to do that make the quick capture or just regular plain uploading without that won't work for me because the, tra the uh, quick capture thing is busted still and, um, um, they don't take WMV, and I can't get my uh, webcast to do anything else without making the files so freaking big it eats up my memory by a couple gigs. For like a, like I had like a three minute movie, and I was testing out the AV on this machine, and it was, I think, just with three gigabytes. And um, I think it took something like 
just about an hour or something to wipe because I, I prefer to wipe than delete because when you delete something it basically just moves it to the uh, it deletes just the address to the file and it'll just be overwritten when you wipe it you're actually deleting the entire freaking file so it's a lot more secure um, and um, I don't I don't think it does anything back to your hard drive I've done it on my hard drives it, uh, on my computer and still a couple years old um, the only problems I've really had with it has been um, Occasionally something will degrade beyond repair, so I'll actually have to um, nuke the whole machine and just start again. I made the mistake of um, re uh, like reinstalling Windows without formatting the hard drive, and that just screwed the machine up for quite a while. Um, I do like the fact that the new version of XP, you when I first got my uh, my original tower, it had like the original early version of XP, and it kept crashing, like no, not crashing, but totally like screwing up on installations. That so I had to keep redoing my machine, which meant I would lose everything. Uh, since I actually got an external hard drive and started putting everything on there, it um, I don't keep much on my hard drive, so I just have to install his programs and that, and I don't lose any personal data like pictures or like just certain things um, although I do have to say Windows Vista they tell you it's supposed to be better than, I mean not Windows Vista, Windows 7 they tell you it's supposed to be better than Windows Vista like easier to use it's not, it's very frustrating and I've been working with computers all my life um, I like the fact that you can just go to the taskbar and just click on what window you want instead you have to go to the icon and it'll show the windows and you have to click the window and it'll come up and um, if you're working especially if you're working like with mini window, windows like download windows or just little pop-ups uh, that can be quite frustrating um, anyway um, so I hope all the dads out there are having a good Father's Day, if there's anyone watching this. Probably the only people who are actually going to be watching this are, uh, you know, geeks, nerds, and basically just little snot nose kids that are younger than me. I mean, I'm, I'm 28, and I'm 28, and I still spend most of my money on this stuff, although I have been spending my money on um, some more grown-up things, like a new TV, that sort of thing. Um, but I have heard guys that have done things, uh, like have done this that are older than that. And, um, so it's good to know that I'm not the oldest guy here because I don't want to. You know, I don't want to come off the, as like the kind of like 40 or 50 year old guy who likes to collect dolls, like Mr. Smithers from uh, The Simpsons. Um, even though these aren't actually dolls or like role playing action figures in that. Um, I don't want to come, uh, come off as that kind of creepy guy. Um, the problem is though, um, when I move out of here next year, where I'm gonna, gonna put some of this stuff. Although that's gonna suck it. Um, especially since I actually have to get a new ID um, when I move to say where I live in that. Um, anyway, so we're getting close to the 20 minute mark on this Chewbacca. This is the, we're at nine minutes on the second part. So I'm just going to end it right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all my Common Rider reviews. Uh, I know I enjoy the ones from uh, Shuki and Dawson Rider, Jedi Mon 2005 and a load of other guys who I have subscribed to over the years. Um, it's actually nice to actually be able to do my own. Uh, I hope people, I hope those guys and everyone else enjoys them as much as I enjoy theirs. One quick little thing I should add though about the other two reviews. The Den Den and uh, uh, Frog Memory are just about the same size. Yes. Um, so, keep watching my stuff. 
uh, tell your friends, get more subscribers. I'm past the 10 minute mark, so I have to stop this now. Um, so please subscribe, please comment, please enjoy, please wish me well, and call me friend. I got Duncan Wanda with me here. She wishes the same thing. Kind of woke her up. Okay. Uh, bye. Baka out.